This is Vegeta False Color by Datong, released in 2015, the bootleg version to Bandai's SDCC 2014. I originally got this guy to replace my broken Vegeta OT Scouter. First, I need to state that this is a dirt cheap figure, so don't get high hopes. Accessories are identical with Scouter 1.0. He's got 4 faces, and I'd say the quality is good considering his price. Sculpt and paint job are on par with Bandai's. Plastic material is also acceptably elastic, not as rigid as Datong's Frieza. Assorted of accessories, all are well duplicated from the original. Two pieces of blast effects. Sculpts are a bit rough with some visible nub marks. Paint job is acceptably nice. Last, a stand base set, identical to the original Bandai. Two poles, a clamp, and a base. Sculpt has visible nub marks on the jawlines and rough ears. Paint job varies between faces. Skin tone is yellowish with orange shadings. Likeness is not great, but to be fair, neither is Bandai's. The smiling face has asymmetric eyes. The angry face is not good. Eyebrows are too long and he wears eyeliners. The hurting face is pretty good. Paint job is great. Overall, the faces are good enough for the price. The hair is surprisingly smooth. Minimum seam lines. Matte finished. Color theme follows his first screen appearance. Unfortunately, I don't have the original to compare the color. Matte finish is even and smooth top to bottom. Sculpts are great, just like common fig warts. However, the surface is rougher than Bandai's, likely due to the difference in material. Knee joint's color is different than the legs. The blue suit has very subtle shadings, not immediately noticeable. Armor and armor lines are tidily painted with minor mispaints. No shadings, surprisingly good. Inner suit is tidily painted. Panel lines are also good. Armor soft shadings, matte finished. Surface is a bit rough. Gloves are well painted. No paint spills. No shadings. The scouter is difficult to attach since there is no gap between the ear and the hair like the original. The scouter is compatible with Bandai's head with some adjustment. The red glass is not as clear as Bandai's, however. The effects are good. Spikes are slightly less sharp than the original. Bandai's faces are not perfect either, but still better than Datong's. Skin tone is more pinkish, more matte. Hand sculpts are identical, different color and no shadings. Different material on crushed scouter, less sharp sculpts. Datong's spikes are blunt, not as sharp as Bandai's. Different effect color. Datong's effects are more translucent. Articulations follow classic Figuarts action body. I'll just highlight the difference. Neck is awful stiff. Won't budge a bit. Shoulder armors are slightly movable. You might want to glue the pack if you don't like it. You can easily reattach them if you accidentally detach them. The inner shoulder ball is very loose, not the shoulder hinge. I feel that overall, the joints are pretty good for a bootleg. Besides, the pegs are not as fragile as other bootlegs. No worries of broken pegs during hands or head swap. The elbows are nicely tight.
Waist is extendable, rotatable, but stiff and squeaky. No forward, backward, or side to side. Thigh can be extended, surprisingly tight, much better than the original Scouter 1.0. Knees are also very tight, just like the elbow. Angles are also great. They don't wobble. Much easier to stand than Scouter 1.0. Datong Vegeta Scouter SDCC is a worthy replacement to the now legendary Bandai Virgin. If you're itching to add Vegeta Fall Color to your collection, I'd recommend Datong's. For less than $20, he's worth every penny. Needless to say, he's got some flaws that you need to accept, namely the faces. If you like my videos, please support me by sharing, press like, and subscribe so I can continue making great videos for you. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!